Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snyder's Inc. We got another reaction video for you. I haven't done a couple. I've been doing live streams, and I've been doing new actual videos. No reason for that is because I just moved, and I didn't have a setup that I was particularly fond of. I got one now. I got at least one that's good enough for me. So that's what we're going to do right here right now. What we have to do here, this is for a channel called Top 5 Unknowns. And it is five, five stranger CCTV video evidence caught on camera slash unsolved mysteries. So, I think this is going to be very interesting. Are you guys ready? Of course you're ready. Let's get into it. CCTV cameras are meant to deter criminals from breaking into houses and businesses. I think everyone who can should have at least some sort of CCTV video. Does that have to be the best one? As much as people think you need the best quality, not everyone can afford the best quality. So get one that's good enough for you, but at least get something in case something happens. And to provide authorities with patterns of evidence when a crime is committed. But every now and then, CCTV video captures creepy and strange events that cannot be explained. And many of these remain unexplained mysteries to this day. We're gonna get five of them and see what we got. Number five. The guitar, amp, and keyboard shop in Brighton, England has been in operation for over 25 years. It's known as one of the largest musical instrument retailers in the UK and has been visited by many well-known musicians. But one night in 2019, the shop seemingly had a visitor of another kind when CCTV cameras inside the shop captured a series of events while the store was closed that have left their staff baffled and a little creeped out. The camera clearly shows that no one is present. Yet at 5.17 a.m., two guitars that are displayed on a hanging rack when it comes to trimming your balls, you gotta level up your game. The brand new Lawnmower 4.0. The 4.0. Don't ever, ever, don't you put no YouTube ad about me shaving my butt. What the hell type of crap is that? You weirdos. Can be seen swaying back and forth despite not being touched by anyone. But the strange footage doesn't end there. Exactly 30 minutes later on another hanging wall display, a price tag that is attached to one of the guitars can be seen flying off before it's right there just fell off and went right there right where my mouse thing is right there or floating down to the ground mark batch a videographer explained that the cctv cameras inside the store were yet to be triggered when they sensed movements which only deepens the unexplained mystery in another video taken one month earlier while the shop was open, a strange transparent figure can be seen moving across the shop floor, past a member of staff who is oblivious to its presence. A few minutes later, it returns and moves across the floor. Oh, I would have absolutely missed that. I don't pay. That's really hard to see. No one. Uh, you can almost question if it was even there, but you can just see a little bit of a figure thing as it walked down there, and they just, you couldn't see it over there. Again, but once again, no one seems to notice. Staff members have also witnessed other strange events in the store, such as items falling over for no apparent reason. But not everyone is surprised by these events, since the store is located in a city that was named as one of Britain's most haunted locations, according to a 2016 online database. I would love to go into this place, though. I would love to see what they have in it. Many other businesses have reported paranormal activity, with more than 120 similar incidents being reported throughout the city. Number 4. On the 23rd of July, 2018, a 48-year-old night security guard from Palm Springs by the name of Douglas Benfield was working at a construction site in Cathedral City in California when he noticed something creepy on his CCTV monitor that couldn't be explained. He says that at 8.56 p.m., he started feeling strange, 
though there was no apparent reason. Then out of the corner of his eye, he saw something strange on his security monitor and decided to play it back so that he could get a better look at what it was. The footage shows an outside view of the site and cars can be seen driving past on a nearby road. Suddenly and seemingly out of nowhere, a bright green object can be seen rising up from the ground as if it's taking off. The object has a strange shape with the middle column. What is that? The drone? Mr. What is this? This is what, 20... Hold on, let me go back. Let me just get punched. Okay, that's a bit of what I've had. Never mind, I won't go back, but like... Is this recent? If this is recent, that could be a drone, I would say. It all depends on when this is taking place, because if it's if it's before if it's a while ago when like drones weren't really a thing, I don't know what this is. I'm flanked by two glowing platforms at its sides. It hovers in mid-air for a few seconds before emitting bright light and suddenly shooting off into the sky at great speed and disappearing. Douglas states that he couldn't believe what he was seeing, and he played the footage back repeatedly, but couldn't figure out what it was. He made a recording of the footage and sent it to his son, Skylar, who was just as dumbfounded by the strange security footage. Since his life was very busy at the time, he didn't show the footage to anyone else, but came across the recording in 2020 and decided that he wanted to share the recovered footage with members of the public. Some people have speculated that the cameras merely caught a reflection of a passing car's headlights. So it seems like 2018. is when this happened. So yeah, it could be a drone. Or that it may have been the result of nearby traffic lights. But Douglas maintains that the video is a strange one. And despite having watched it many times, he says that it still creeps him out. Number three. In November of 2013, strange events were captured by the CCTV camera system in Jimmy's World Grill and Bar located in England. In the footage, okay, we're all up in UK here. Which the majority of the restaurant's customers are seated at the top of the screen, with a further four tables in the middle of the restaurant unoccupied. But at the bottom of the screen, one female customer is seen dining by herself, with two glasses and. I was confused because like there's a plate here, but there's food on that table. Was she on a date? The date left? Is she waiting for someone? Someone ditch her? What just ha I need a backstory more about this food on this table. Is this girl just eating a lot? What's happening here? And a plate in front of her on the table. Waiters can be seen moving between the tables, and it seems to be just another normal day at the restaurant. But after a while, the woman gets up from her table and walks towards the busier section of the restaurant, where she picks up another plate. During the time that she's away from the table, however, Inexplicable events take place that seem to go unnoticed by everyone else present in the restaurant. First, a special menu that's been placed on the table moves on its own accord. First, a special menu that's been placed on the table. Okay, so someone could have moved that out of the frame. I was wanting to see what the, how far it was out before he moved, but like, that threw me so off. I didn't even, because he was talking about a menu, so I was looking for the menu, and I just happened to see the chair move. ...one else present in the restaurant. First, a special menu that's been placed on the table moves on its own accord with no one in the vicinity. A few seconds later, the napkin that the woman had been using... Is she not noticed the chair? Am I going to notice it? He has to put it up. Did no one notice the chair move? It slips off the end of the table and falls to the floor without explanation. A few more seconds pass before the plate that she'd been eating out of can be seen. Okay, so we've had a menu move a bit, 
a napkin fall off, and then the fucking plate go fly. Okay. So here's the thing. This could be thick. The reason I'm saying this could be because that could explain this, the second plate of food. It could be her. It could be they asked her if she wanted to participate in this video. Uh, so they had her give her a plate that would be had a string to it. That would be just like the other things do, and it would be pulled when she leaves. Um. But she does walk that way, so she would have to hit it. Unless it was on the ground, she like walks on it. I don't know. I'm trying to think how this could be done and be fake. Because I would believe this would be the food she'd actually be eating. Because there's no, it does not look like anyone with her. And she said that she wants to go grab another plate is also really weird. So like, it's just it's the circumstances. This was done. Oh, this was done on my birthday in 2013. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, July 10th. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't have an explanation for it, though. Moving across the table. Possibility of it being fake, but I can't for sure say, because I can't make figure out how she walked across this if they had that set up. Before falling to the ground. Also, without anyone nearby. A woman seated at a nearby table seems to be the only one who hears the plate falling as she turns around in her seat to see what's going on. The restaurant's manager told reporters that a customer seated a few tables away brought the incident to his attention after she heard a loud crash and found that the table was unoccupied, which seemed strange to her. He immediately went over to the table and found the broken plate on the floor, along with some cutlery that had been dragged to the floor by the moving plate. At the time, he didn't think too much of it, but when discussing the incident with members of his staff, they suspected that it may have been caused by a ghost or a poltergeist. Someone suggested. Was this. Wait, hold on. Is this before he watched the footage? Because that's a weird thought. Before the footage, I can see them think someone smashed it and ran away or something like that. The same thing immediately to go to the polka dance without watching the footage is bizarre. If you saw it, I can see why you think that. Suggested that he take a look at the CCTV footage to see if it captured the incident on camera. Okay, yeah, so this is beforehand. So this is not even weird. Yeah, that's weird. That's a weird thought. That's actually the case. Then I still think it's safe camera, and he was astonished by what he saw. Many commenters have stated that they believe the video evidence to be a hoax, as the camera angle fails to show the area where the plate, the cutlery, or the menu hit the ground, and they believe it to be a publicity stunt to create interest in the restaurant. The manager, however, states that the restaurant staff has shown a lot of interest in the possibility that they may be dealing with an otherworldly presence. Of course they're gonna be a thing. They have to go along with it. What? That doesn't matter. That doesn't mean anything. And yes, it has gone in more thing for the restaurant. So it clearly probably did its job. I will say though, they do look pretty popular, except for the fact that apparently people go on dates and the date doesn't show up. And that the incident has made it rather scary to lock up at night when the restaurant closes for the day. Number two, the Niles Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, located in Illinois, was first opened in 1976. But well, I don't like ghost videos being part of unsolved mystery videos. Like I don't like them because while I get it, you can never actually solve a ghost video. So the facility provides 24-hour care and rehabilitation services for patients with Alzheimer's disease and dementia, but it also provides other services such as ophthalmology, podiatry, and dental care. But on the 1st of September 2012, the building's CCTV cameras recorded a creepy event that has left many viewers in disbelief, wondering if the building may be home to past patients that still linger in its halls. Oh, is this the one with the room or cane or something like this? 
At around 3.23 a.m., the camera shows one of the building's entrances where a couple of chairs are placed against a wall across from a pair of elevators, and all seems quiet with nothing out of place. But that's when a series of strange occurrences are caught on camera. First, what seems to be a walking cane appears out of thin air between the two chairs, leaning against the furthest one from the camera. The operator then switches to a different camera that shows the area directly in front of the elevators. A few seconds later, the cane can be seen sliding into view from across the floor, though no one is around. Multiple people are seen walking past the cane without noticing it on the ground before it's seen moving a few inches on its own. One passing man eventually does see the cane. He picks it up and places it against the corner of a wall, where it remains unmoved for a few seconds. A man and woman then walk into the shot and wait for the elevator before getting in, and right after the doors close, the cane inexplicably disappears into thin air, as if it were never there. People who have watched the CCTV footage are divided as to what exactly happened. Some believe that the former owner of the cane still resides within the center's walls, while others feel that the video may have been manipulated to make viewers believe that the building is haunted. Whatever the case may be, no My only defense for why it might not be fake is because I feel this might be in a like a professional type establishment that can't really rely on this kind of thing being done because people will trust in them with care. So I can see why they wouldn't want to make you believe it's haunt why they probably wouldn't want to do that. But I I might be wrong, so I could it could be fake. I don't actually know. I just you know. Defense out there. No one has come forward to offer an explanation for the creepy footage, and for now it remains an unsolved mystery. Number 1 A Redditor known as Old Ghost Hunter posted a video to Reddit of a room in an abandoned French mansion that shows strange events caught on one of the building's CCTV cameras. The owners of the mansion didn't want to share the building's location, but it's known that it was built in the 19th century by owners of a factory. The building hadn't been known for any paranormal activity until 2009, when CCTV cameras were installed. This was done because the building seemed to be degrading at a rapid pace, and the owners wanted to see if they could find the cause. In the video clip, the camera shows an old, dusty room inside the building. On one side of the room, six chairs have been st Okay, this is in 2009. Just so anyone gets clarity of date. 2009, so right there. I have no idea the date because I don't speak this language. However, it's going to be good quality for 2009, I'm not lie. Stacked in pairs, each with one chair placed upside down on top of the other. The room also contains a few other chairs, stools, and small tables that have been placed near the other walls. At first, everything seems quiet and normal inside the room, until two objects that have been placed on one of the small tables fly oh. off and end up on the floor. A few seconds later, another smaller object flies off the same table though it's hard to make out exactly what it is. A few moments later, the chairs on the left-hand side of the room start to move without any explanation or anyone being near Ooh. them. All the windows in the room are closed and there's no indication that a breeze is entering the building. Next, one of the chairs that have been placed upside down start to move back and forth on top of the other. The chair almost seems as if it's being pulled by some unseen force that's trying to topple it over. After a few seconds, the chair stops moving around, and everything seems to go back to normal. But this isn't where the creepy footage ends. In a sudden burst, Ooh. all... Okay, they got a ghost in the house.
and how you do not fix it. There was no way someone could fix six chairs at one time, all going flying like that. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. That, 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 that wheel, that wheel right there. That's some weird shit. If I, if I was in a room with six chairs or eight chairs, go fly my direction, I'm going to my goddamn life away, never going to see my ass. You don't jump through a window for six. Uh-uh. That's some freaky ass shit right there. Bye-bye, I'm going. I am going home. That's what I said to that. What the freaking hell? Uh-uh. Seven of the chairs are flung across the room in different directions. the one remaining, the one that's standing. Actions at the same time. They end up scattered across the floor a few feet away from where they came to rest. There's clearly no one present in the room, and there's. There's no one. What is causing that? What is causing that? If you think that, if you're watching this and you think this is fake, explain to me what is causing that. There's no logical explanation for the strange activity. Many people have stated that they believe that it's due to a poltergeist that is present in the building. Since the video was recorded, the mansion has been demolished and replaced with a supermarket, and thus there will be no chance for a future investigation into this unsolved mystery. And we can only speculate whether the mansion is really haunted. I don't like that. That's not a good ending. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. But everyone, that is the end of this reaction video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think of these videos down below. Again, if you know how this that last one could have been done, fake-wise, if you have to be a host, let me know, because I can't figure it out. Uh, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you for the next one.